Today I'm grading the most expensive Pokemon cards in my entire collection, which includes vintage cards, modern cards, and of course, tons of Charizards. And here they are, we've got them right here, a stack of my most expensive cards in my entire collection, and as you're gonna see, there's some really insane bangers in here. We're gonna take all these cards, we're gonna grade them with KK grading, we're on them later, and we're gonna see what we get on some of my biggest hits I've ever pulled. Starting off with this guy, this is an Umbreon holographic from Neo Revelation. This is unlimited, but the quality of the card looks really good, honestly. I don't see much on the corners. Um, the card itself, the holo foil looks great. Having this graded, is gonna be huge. Now we've got one of my favorites in the stack, a Shining Noctowl from Neo Destiny. The Neo Destiny cards are incredible. Neo Destiny is my favorite personal set. Uh, so to have anything from this set, especially the Shinings uh, graded, is going to be amazing. All right, next we've got a Giratina V-Star. Dude, the golden Giratina V-Star from, I think this is, Jake, do you know what set this is? Brilliant Stars? What is this from? I think this is, I forget what set this is from. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but the gold Giratina V-Star, this is one of the biggest hits in the entire set. This is one of the more modern sets. So, I mean, this is packed fresh. It's looking good. Let's get a 10. This is something I got out of a Topps pack I got in a mystery box. And although it may not seem like much because it's not really like a Pokemon card, this is an official Pokemon card before Pokemon cards were a thing. And I, I think if this thing grades well, especially at a PSA 10, it could really be worth something. Oh my God, the Pokemon 151 craze is alive and well right now. This is the Alternate Arts SAR Venusaur EX. This card, very, very expensive. The set, very expensive and continuously going up in price. So we've got this. And the Japanese cards notoriously grade at a super duper high grade. We might see a big return on this. Crown Zenith. Oh, cool. Well, perfect. We have another one. We have the gold Arceus V Star from the Crown Zenith set. This card, I think this is Crown Zenith. Yeah, it's also Crown Zenith. This card, beautiful at a PSA 10. It's definitely worth a pretty penny. I'm curious to see what these modern cards are going to get. Okay, we've got some more Japanese, but some really expensive ones. I forget what set this is from. 2019. Uh, this is a Jirachi GX full art. Really, really nice looking card. Again, the Japanese, this is packed fresh. Japanese cards, notoriously, significantly higher quality than English cards, so getting a PSA 10 on Japanese cards is a lot easier. So this one I think is gonna grade well. This one I think is gonna grade well. This is an Umbreon Darkrai Tag Team GX card from a God Pack that I pulled on a YouTube video on this channel. This card is worth a lot if we get it in a 10. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Speaking of Japanese, Shiny Charizard VMAX. Now, this is not the Shiny Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates. That one's valuable and we have some of those today. This is the one from Shiny Star V, the Japanese set, which is really, really expensive. Way more expensive than the English one, if I'm not mistaken. And again, this is packed fresh. It's Japanese, I pulled this in a YouTube video. This thing should grade well. We've got another Neo Revelation uh, holographic Umbreon. Here's an exciting Pokemon card, the Mega Charizard EX, AKA the number one pull from Evolving Skies, a box that's going for six, seven hundred dollars for the booster box. A really, really expensive set. It's the base set reprint from 2016. This is a valuable, valuable card. Oh my God. One of my favorite alternate arts that has come out in a very long time. It's Aerodactyl V alternate art from Lost Origin. But this is, that's a quality card. And then here he is. We we're talking about him. The shiny Charizard V Max from Shining Fates. This guy is sick. So this one's not as expensive as the Japanese one, I think, but the quality on this card is near perfect, if not PSA 10. It looks great. And if we hit a 10 on this, that's big. I couldn't believe I pulled this. The Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX, the number one pull from Vivid Voltage. And I got it, baby. I pulled it in a YouTube video on this channel out of, the, out of a mystery box, actually, out of a pack inside of a mystery box. And uh, that's gonna grade high. Okay, so listen, the waifu craze is going hard, hard and strong right now. And this Iono card, this is not the alternate art, but it is the full art. This card at a PSA 10 is worth something. The centering looks great on it. The back looks great on it, centering and everything. That looks fantastic. Dude, this, I I, I saw this card in this, on this stack and I couldn't believe it. This is an expedition base set holographic Charizard. At a PSA 10, this thing sells between 10 to 15,000 dollars. Yes, this is one of the most expensive cards in my entire collection, and it was just sitting in a box waiting to be graded. That's hilarious. Holographic, base set Expedition Charizard, the whitening, there's a little bit of nix of whitening on the corners. So I'll be honest with you, this will probably come back at PSA 9, but this is a fantastic, fantastic pack fresh Charizard from Expedition base set. I couldn't believe I pulled this in a YouTube video. It was nuts. All right, then we've got a base set Holographic Ninetales, which I, I I think I opened for a YouTube video probably a long time ago. Um, so we have this, so it's a base set holo. That's great. Listen, the Japanese female trainer cards are very expensive and they're only getting more expensive. So I've got a full art Japanese female trainer right here. I think this is Grusha. 
Um, and I don't know the prices on this, but I know that it's expensive. And speaking of Japanese, we've got a, from Eevee Heroes, a uh, Flareon V Alternate Art. Now listen, Eevee Heroes right now has gone up in price from $300 per booster box to I think somewhere around now, what, like five, six, seven hundred dollars for a booster box. So to have an Alternate Art V from that set is literal gold, and especially in Japanese, because it's probably gonna grade to 10. Oh my God, why is this in this stack? That's a first edition holographic Dark Dragonite. Why do I have this? This is beautiful. First edition hollow. Okay, listen, the back is a little bit messed up. I see some whitening, so I don't think a 10 is gonna come through on this, but dude, we might hit a big grade. This is actually a base set holographic Gyarados. I think I got this during a box break with Optic. They did like a, they did a box break and I got, I got a base set hollow Gyarados or a water schlong. So I think that's from that. So this would be cool if we get this a 10. This is, as you can see, I paid $110 for it. This is the Rayquaza V alternate art from Evolving Skies. Now, looking at the back, the centering is a little left heavy or right heavy, and the bottom is cut a little rough. Uh, but, I mean, this is one of the biggest hits in Evolving Skies. So to have this even in a slab is gonna be huge. Now we've got this guy. It looks like I paid $130 for it. Uh, this is a this is a base set holographic Japanese card, actually. Wow, this is really cool. This is, yeah, this is, ba this is OG base set Japanese holographic Charizard. Wow, that's insane. Wow, this is like the original guy. Look, Mitsuhiro Arita. Uh, who is the original artist. I've been trying to buy a piece of art from him for years. It's just I can never win the auction. Um, that is so sick. So we're gonna haul that or do that. And the last one here, we've got a Char Charizard V alternate art. Uh, I think from Brilliant Stars, I'm pretty sure is the set that this comes out of, right? That would make sense. Um, but we have the Charizard too. So that is fantastic. I am so curious to see what we get on these grades. Now, you're probably wondering how I'm grading all these super high valuable cards. And I'm sure that you have some cards of your own that you would love to grade. Listen, grading cards is a huge extra step and it's honestly kind of annoying to do, but as you'll see in today's video, it is so worth it. So today I'm trusting and grading my most expensive cards with the homies over at KK Sports Cards. The reason why, they make grading with PSA, which is the number one card grading service, super easy and straightforward. Just head to their website, register with your email, then submit your cards to grade. You basically just fill out like a super easy form, including your contact and shipping information, then add how many cards you want to get graded, plus what service you want for them. Like the bulk option at $19 a card. Toss your cards in a box, slap the label on it, ship it out, then bam! your cards are off to grade, which is insane convenience because if you've ever graded directly through a grading company, there's so much data input, information, paperwork you need to do. But KK Sports Cards makes it super duper easy and are easily the best way to grade with PSA for both actually Pokemon cards and sports cards. And with the Pokemon card market currently exploding, grading your cards is a really easy way to retain value and card quality. As you'll see by the grades and prices in today's video. So click the link down in the description to head over to KK Sports Cards to begin grading some of your best cards. And speaking of, let's see what I ended up getting on my most expensive Pokemon cards ever. All right, so if you don't know right now, I'm traveling. I just traveled across Japan, bought a bunch of cool Pokemon cards, made a bunch of amazing videos. So I'm not actually home to get my PSA graded cards, but my little brother is. So he recorded a video revealing all of the grades on my most expensive cards, and we get to watch it here. And then I get to go home and get to these. So now we've got the first card, Card. It is a, oh nice, the 1999 Gyarados Holographic. Okay, this is a card that I think I pulled in like a box break with Optic. It was really cool. Thumb over the PSA grade. The Hollow Gyarados is an 8. Okay, PSA 8 Holographic Base Set Gyarados. Not bad on that. I think I probably guessed a 9 maybe on that. Maybe I guessed a 10. I don't know. But there's that. Ooh, PSA 8. I don't know what that's worth. Okay, it's like a 40 $45 card. Not bad. Going to the next one here. Here's the next slab. This one looks good, and it is a the base set holographic nine tails. This one I actually ended up pulling out of a pack during a video. I forgot what video it was, so super cool to see this. And it's a 10! No freaking way! PSA 10 base set hollow nine tails. Yes, dude! Yes! I'm so happy about that. Oh my god. Dude, and that is a 300 to 350 dollar slab right there for the holographic PSA 10 base set nine tails. Let's go, dude. That's so sick. Okay, next slab, man. I mean, that is that is an awesome way to start this. A PSA 8, we've got... Oh, God. Okay, this is the first Charizard. The first Charizard here. Ooh, and it's from 2016 XY Evolutions. Come on. It's gonna be... Reveal it, Jake. Reveal it. It's a 5. Oh, my God. What happened to this? PSA 5. Jesus. Why is it a 5? This is like a, this is like a $20 slab. PSA 5. <laughs> no, dude. Okay, next slab here. It's Japanese. We've got one of the Japanese cards. Oh, cool. This is the Grusha. Oh, wow. I graded 
I graded this? I forgot that I put this in. Well, this is a 2023 uh, Grusha card, so brand new female trainer card. Gonna be... Jake, come on! Nine! Okay, we got a mid-nine. PSA nine. Cool. As you can see, the bottom is a little bit more thick than the top, I feel like, and maybe some cornering. This card still, though, sells for a little bit over $70, so cool slap. All right, next up, another English. It's gonna be, oh, so cool, a 2001 Neo Discovery Holographic Umbreon. Obviously, Umbreon right now is an icon, so getting a good grade on this would be absolutely huge. And I think I pulled this out of a pack myself, if I'm not mistaken, so... Bottom looks a little thick. Okay, it's a near mint 8.5. Wait, what? PSA does does 0.5s? Well, the PSA 8 version of this sells for, oh, I think around 200, 190 to $200. So still a super duper valuable slab, uh, but I, I didn't know they do 8.5s. I'm actually super confused about that, but hey, we'll take an 8.5 Hollow Umbreon. Okay, another Japanese slab. Let's freaking see it. Is it a Charizard? Oh, dude, this is sick. Okay, this is the Tag Team GX All-Stars, Zekrom and Pikachu. This is an expensive card from a really, really expensive set. And I think I ended up pulling this out of the God Pack, I'm pretty sure. So here is a really, really big, and it's a 10. Hey, it's a 10, dude. Really hoping the Japanese cards come back strong today. And we got that PSA 10. I also totally misunderstood how valuable this card is. This, this card is actually like a 30... $5 slab. <laughs> so not super valuable, but very cool. Okay, next one here. Okay, we have another Mega Charizard EX from XY Evolutions. This is the number one card from XY Evolutions, and it's an 8. It's a PSA 8. It's better than a PSA 5. Jeez, that was so rough. This card, still not super valuable, around a $40 slab. Okay, so far, next slab here. So far, we've seen some cool ones. This is the Alternar Aer Aerodactyl. We haven't really hit anything super duper expensive on the return. So PSA 6? Dude, what's happening to my cards, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. What's happening? PSA 6? What's happening to my cards, bro? <laughs> Dude, I'm getting <laughs> annihilated on these grades. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even see a PSA 6 version of this card on <laughs> on eBay. I don't know how much this is worth. That's uh. That's rough. PSA 6? It's fine though, it's fine, because we have another Japanese card and these are just great higher. It's the Shiny Charizard V Max from Shiny Star V. This I pulled in the God Pack video as well, but it wasn't in a God Pack. Dude, please be a 10. It's a freaking 10, yes, bro. Okay, this saves all of it, this saves all of it. Oh, let's absolutely get it. That is so cool. This guy sells for somewhere between two to $300 and a PSA 10. That is a really, really cool one, and I pulled that myself. Uh, so to have this guy come back at 10, that is fantastic. And again, that really helps save the day a little bit because we've been getting kind of destroyed on grade. So there's that. All right, next slab in. It's English. It is the, oh nice, the Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX, which I pulled during a mystery box video on the channel, which was shocking. And it's also a 10. Let's freaking, dude, we're on it right now. Okay, now it begins. This is when the good grades, Sid, this is when the good grades start happening. Look at, I got the, the 10 on the Pikachu. Wow. Nice, dude. This card sells for somewhere around $250 to $260 at a PSA 10. I pulled this myself. I remember back in the day when Vivid Voltage came out, this card was like the rage. It was really, really expensive. So at a PSA 10, we have that. Okay, ooh, this is big. This is pretty big. This is an Iono trainer card here. It's in English, so the Japanese Ionos, Japanese trainer cards are much more expensive. This card in Japanese ungraded is like hundreds of dollars, and the alternate art is worth like $1,000. So in English, it's definitely not worth nearly as much but maybe it came back as a 10. It's a nine, okay, mint nine Iono. This is like around a $50 card right here, a $50 slab. So uh, again, in Japanese, way more expensive. And I do have a bunch of Japanese, amazing Japanese cards that I ended up purchasing while I was in Japan. Oh my God, this is it. Okay, hold on. Before we reveal the Charizard holographic, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, because right here is the Expedition base set holographic Charizard that I pulled out of the $1 versus $1,000 pack video, I think it was. Bought this in Hawaii during Hawaii PopCon. I've got a really, really good memory with this thing. It was insane pulling it. So right here, we have the grade back. This is one of the most expensive cards of the entire video. And please, dude, please, let's see what we got. Base it. Hollow Expedition Charizard. It's so beautiful, regardless of what grade it is, but it comes back at an eight. Okay, we will take a PSA eight. I am not mad at that. This card at a 10 
is like $15,000. So PSA 8 though, still an over $400 slab right here. So really happy that we were able to pull this iconic Charizard and get it uh, graded at an eight. That is freaking awesome. Okay, that was beautiful. Also, all these slabs, by the way, will end up over on our Whatnot channel. So link to Whatnot down in the description below. We now have a base set holographic Ninetales. This, I'm sorry, base set two holographic Ninetales. I, I wanna say I pulled this as well. Um, well, listen, we got a PSA 10 on the last base set Hollow Ninetales. We get a nine on this one. Very nice, PSA nine. They said two Hollow Nine Tails, which goes for around $50. I'm assuming PSA 9, I mean, there might have been some whitening or maybe some hollow foil scratch, but the card looked really good. So for that to be, I don't know, maybe they're grading a little bit more strict now. Next, next, what do we have here? Oh, we have another holographic, uh, is this a non? Yeah, this is another holographic Neo Discovery Umbreon. This is not first edition. Really good quality though. Again, I don't know if I pulled this one or kind of where this came from, but right now Umbreon, PSA 6, what happened to this slab? PSA 6? All right, come on, bring me some freaking fire here. Ooh, this is big. We have the Neo Destiny Shining Noctowl card right here. This is Neo Destiny Unlimited. Neo Destiny is my favorite set that has ever, ever been printed. It is so fun to open because you have the Shining cards, including Noctowl, and this one's gonna come back at a PSA four right here. So a really, really low grade, but this card was kind of beat up. This card slab at a PSA four still goes for over a hundred dollars. So really cool to get that and a cool piece of uh, Pokemon TCG history from my favorite set ever. That's fun. Okay, next up we've got, ooh, this is cool. This is a Neo Revelation. We got the holographic Raikou. This card I don't have high expectations for on the PSA grade just because the reason why the PSA 10 versions of the Neo Revelation Legendary Beasts are so expensive is because because of print quality at the time, getting a PSA 10 was nearly impossible. So we've got a Raikou here. It is a Neo Destiny Raikou, unlimited, coming back at a another PSA 4. <laughs> so again, did not really surprised about that. And I don't think these cards were super high quality anyways. So there's the PSA 4 on that. We'll take it, still a super cool slab. Next, this looks, pff, oh man, listen, the quality on this card is fantastic. We've got the Golden Giratina V-Star from Crown Zenith. Come on, man, let's get back to the PSA 10s. We had some fours, some sixes. This is a 10, it was a 10, let's go, dude. Huge win there, beautiful slab. And a slab that goes for over $200 right there at a PSA 10. Giratina. Let's freaking go, please God. Oh, this one's so fun. Okay, we got a Charmander. This is the Topps Charmander card. I did pull this myself out of a, a Topps pack. So as you can see, this is 2000 Topps Chrome. Really cool. This is like very, very OG uh, Pokemon TV card. Come on, this at a 10 would go absolutely crazy. It's an eight, we'll take this, PSA eight. Not a very expensive slab, but a very, very cool one nonetheless. All right, next we've got Japanese, and this is a big one, this is, oh my God. This is Pokemon 151 Venusaur EX Secret Art Rare. This is one of my favorite sets. This is probably my favorite set that has been printed in a very long time. So we've got the Venusaur, the SAR. God, please. The Japanese quality is always so good. This Venusaur looks great. I, I don't, I forget where I got this. I think I pulled it myself out of a box probably for a video. <sighs> Come on, be big, be big. It's a 10, it's a freaking 10. Yes, the Venusaur SAR from 151 comes back a freaking 10. Let's go. This card, absolutely beautiful, selling for around 170 to 250, kind of in that range. It's a brand new set, so the market's kind of all over the place for it, but really, really good, really good PSA 10 there, man. That is beautiful. How are we gonna top that? It is with this next card, which will be a Arceus V-Star. Listen, we got the Giratina Golden from Crown Zenith, we got the PSA 10, now we've got the Arceus. Let's see the next. Crown Zenith, PSA 10, please. And it's a nine, okay, it's a nine. We take a nine, nine is fine. Which goes for like 50-ish dollars. So still a super duper cool slab. We've got a Japanese card. It is a 2019 Tag Team GX All-Stars Jirachi GX. This is, again, a very, very expensive set and a very hard one to get. And it comes back a 10. Yes, dude, I'm so excited. Again, I think I, we got this out of the God Pack. So excited about that one is a 10. And this card goes for around $50. So it's a little bit 
less expensive than I thought it was, uh, but it's fine. Now we got another Japanese card. It is another older Japanese card. Very cool. This is another Tag Team GX one, but this is Dark Cry and Umbreon. So if we're going to get a PSA 10 on any of these Japanese cards, this is, well, the, the GX All-Stars ones. This is the one that I really hope we get the 10 on because I feel like it's the most valuable. So let's see. And we do, dude. And we do. It is a PSA 10. Dude, yes. That is freaking excited all these tens bro we want more tens oh my god wait this is way more expensive than i thought it was the last three sales 1100 810 and 799 dollars dude that's a thousand dollar slab right there bro or like an 800 dollar slab roughly a little bit over 800 dollars that is huge <laughs> wait we hit big bro we finally hit big this is the most expensive slab of the day so far psa 10 over 800 dollars for that that is ridiculous, bro. That's what I'm saying, dude. The 2019, the Tag Team GX All-Star set, it's a it's an expensive set. It's hard to find. And gosh, if you get a 10, it's insane. Speak of 10s, let's hope this shiny Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates comes back a 10. And it does, dude. Let's go, bro. Let's freaking go. PSA 10. Man, we're on a freaking roll. We're on a roll right now. PSA 10, Shiny Charizard VMAX. This card selling for around 200 that is so cool. That is what a cool PSA 10, bro. All right, another Japanese card in the house right now. Ooh, this is a Eevee Heroes Flareon V Alternate Arc. Eevee Heroes is a set that is now going for somewhere between five to six hundred dollars for a booster box. It is really expensive, and as are all of the Eevee Evolution Alternate Arts, including this, which is a 10. Let's go. Wow, PSA 10 Eevee or Flareon V Alternate Art. What? Easy. $250 slab right there for the PSA 10 version of this card. That is absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we've got, oh my gosh, where did I get this? First edition Dark Dragonite Holographic. This is one of my favorite cards ever, if not my favorite card ever. I love Dragonite. It's my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemon. And this comes back at a PSA 5. A lot of the vintage cards that we sent in for grading this time weren't really high on the grading scale, uh, but PSA 5 right there, that is fantastic. Uh, just to have that card in a slab, love it. Okay, next up is another vintage. Ooh, this is the full art Charizard V from Brilliant Stars. Uh, this is not the, this is a promo? A full art? A promo? What is this one? I forget. Maybe this is not the... This is the 9. It's a PSA 9. Hey, you know, this is still like a $130 slab, roughly. So definitely an expensive uh, expensive one here and a cool pickup. So there's that. Another Charizard and PSA 9. Sick. Next slab is here, and this is what I'm very excited about because it is the Evolving Skies Rayquaza V Alternate Art, a card that I've had for a very, very long time and I just haven't graded it. I think I got this back in 2021, and it came back a PSA 8, which is still like a roughly $70 to $80 graded card, so really, really cool. But this is definitely, I mean, Evolving Skies, an iconic set, especially right now, a very expensive set, so really, really cool to have this. Uh, and especially have it come back at a pretty high grade, like an eight. All right, and now we got, oh, this is vintage Japanese here. What's this gonna be? Vintage Japanese. It's a, oh, the Hollow Charizard. Wow, we got a vintage 1996. Note how old that is. Holographic Basset Charizard. Okay, again, the vintage stuff, I feel like was not highly graded. Yeah, this is a PSA 4. Okay, kind of expected something like that to happen, but that is very, very cool. Vintage PSA 4, Basset Hollow Charizard. What a sick grab right there. That is so fun. Beautiful card, and again, this card and all the other slabs themselves uh, will end up on our whatnot, whether they'll be given away or uh, auctioned in like a big slab auction. Uh, link in the description for whatnot if you want to join and, and pick up some of these slabs. Okay, cool. We've got actually, we have another one. We have another Rayquaza V alternate art from Evolving Skies. I had two of them just because I'm that guy. Another PSA 8, or are we sure Jake just didn't grab the same slab? But I, I think this is, I don't think this is the same slab. This is a PSA 8. Very cool. We could check the, the barcode too, but I, I fully trust that this is a different slab because I definitely had two of these. So we got another PSA 8 Rayquaza V alt art. It's okay. It's all right. And those are the grades of some of my most expensive Pokemon cards. Again, if you want to get your cards graded, click the link in the description for KK Sports cards to get your PSA grades in. Best way to do it, hands down, guaranteed. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. See you in the next one.